Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we discuss about the insulin and its preparation. First we discuss about insulin. Insulin discovered in the year 1921 by Banting and Best. It consists of A chain and B chain linked by two disulfide bonds. Sager established the amino acid sequence of insulin by 1980. B cells of pancreatic isolates synthesize insulin from a single chain because of 110 amino acids termed as pre-proinsulin. First, it discuss the synthesis of insulin. Normally, insulin has synthesized from beta cells of isolates of Langerhans, such that the isolates of Langerhans composed of four types of cells. First one is a beta cell, second one is the alpha cell, third one D cell, fourth one P cell. The beta cell secretes insulin, alpha cell secretes glucagon, D cell secretes somatostatin. The P cell secretes pancreatic polypeptides. In beta cells of pancreas, glucose enters with the help of glucose transporter. The secreted insulin is released by the process of exocytosis. Insulin is synthesized from the proinsulin. Next, we discuss about the simple mechanism of glucose stimulation of insulin secretion by beta cells of pancreas. In this mechanism, first the glucose enters the pancreatic beta cell with the help of glucose transporter and then it converted to glucose 6-phosphate with the help of glucokinase and then it increases the ATP action by the process of oxidation. Then it leads to the potassium channels closed by the process of depolarization and then it's opened the calcium channel. The calcium channel increases the secretion of insulin. Next, we discuss the chemistry. Polypeptide hormone is a molecular weight has 5808. It contains 51 amino acids attached in two chains. The A chain has 21 amino acids. B chain has 30 amino acids linked by two disulfide bridges. The two interchain and one interchain disulfide bonds. Beta cells of pancreas isolates synthesize insulin from a precursor called proinsulin. Proinsulin is hydrolyzed into insulin and C peptide. Insulin and C peptide are secreted in equimolar amounts in response to all insulin secretages. Next, we will discuss the difference between human, pork, and beef insulin. The source of in insulin has three first one is human, second one pork, third one beef. In human, the A chain and B chain. In the 8th amino acid has threonine, 10th amino acid has leucine, 13th amino acid has threonine. In pork, 8th and 10th are similar to the human. The only difference is 30th amino acid has alanine present. Then the beef has A chain and B chain contain the alanine, valine and alanine. The human and pork insulin has similar. The only difference is threonine and alanine in 13th amino acid. In beef gas entirely different compared to human and pork insulin. Next we discuss uh, insulin. The insulin has uh, precursor of pro-insulin. The pro-insulin has hydrolysis to form insulin and free C peptides. Next we discuss storage, release and regulation. Insulin is stored in granules in the beta isolate cells of the pancreas. Normal, normally, pancreas release about 40 to 50 units of insulin every day. Insulin secretion is regulated by factors like food, hormones and ANS. Hypokalemia inhibits insulin release. Blood glucose concentration is the main factor. Insulin is metabolized in the liver, kidney and muscle. Next, the actions of insulin. The insulin have three actions. First one is the carbohydrate metabolism. Second one lipid metabolism. Third one is the protein metabolism. In carbohydrate metabolism, insulin stimulates the uptake and metabolism of glucose in the peripheral tissue, especially skeletal muscles and the adipose tissue. It inhibits glucose production in the liver by inhibiting the process such as the, the glucogenesis and the gluconeolysis. By the above action, insulin lowers the blood glucose concentration. Second one, the lipid metabolism. Insulin inhibits lipolysis in adipose tissue and promotes the synthesis of triglyceride. In diabetes, large amount of fats are broken down. 
the free fatty acids so formed are converted by the liver to acetyl coa and then ketone bodies this result in ketonemia and ketonuria insulin deficiency enhances lipoprotein lipase activity resulting in increased clearance of vldl and chylomicron in insulin deficiency there is hypertriglyceridemia next in the protein metabolism insulin facilitates the amino acid uptake and protein synthesis and inhibits protein breakdown it's a anabolic effect next in diabetes there is increased catabolic effect and negative nitrogen balance these are the actions of insulin first one is the carbohydrate metabolism second one lipid metabolism third one protein metabolism in carbohydrate metabolism um uh, which inhibit the gluconeogenesis and gluconeolysis in lipid metabolism it enhances the lipoprotein lipase activity in protein metabolism it has involved in anabolic effect and catabolic effect next mechanism of action the insulin act by binding to specific receptor insulin receptor is a glycoprotein made up up to 2 alpha and 2 beta sub unit the insulin receptor are present on almost all cells in the body insulin binds to this receptor present on the surface of target cells this binding stimulates tyrosine kinase activity in the beta sub unit in this turn activate a cascade of phosphorylation and a deposition reaction which stimulate or inhibit the enzyme involved in the metabolic action of insulin in this structure protein converted to the phosphorylation process which alter the enzyme activity it produce a response increase the glucose uptake or decrease the gluconeogenesis next we discuss the insulin preparation there are four type of preparation first one is ultra rapid acting second one short acting third one intermediate acting fourth one long acting in ultra rapid acting it has lispro lispro has used for meals or acute hyperglycemia in short acting regular and semi lengthy is used for meals or acute hyperglycemia in intermediate acting it contain nph and lentin which is used to provide basal insulin and overnight coverage in long acting ultra lengthy and glargin which also provide basal insulin and overnight coverage next the insulin delivery systems first it's a more convenient method the portable pen injectors are small pen sized device containing multiple toes of insulin and retractable needles the set is inserted subcutaneously then the alternate routes such that the nasal spray oral route and rectally and subcutaneous bellet implants in oral route the liposomes are used as a carrier next we discuss the uses of insulin first in diabetes mellitus second one myocardial infarction third one cesarepnia fourth one burns fifth one hyperkalemia sixth one anorexia nervosa thank you